Hello and welcome viewers and subscribers of AVG News. I hope you are having a wonderful Friday where you are. Uh, we decided that today we have to take you through the launch of the Border Management Authority uh, in South Africa, that is on the Mosina site, which is the busiest border, one of the busiest borders of South Africa. It is the border that South Africa shares with Zimbabwe, and it was officially launched by President Cyril Ramaphosa yesterday with his Zimbabwean counterpart, that is President Emerson Dambuto. Nanga Kwaso, President Ramaphosa was officially uh, launching the Porter Management Authority, which is uh, aimed at um, trying to fix South Africa's porous borders, uh, especially uh, where Zimbabweans and other African migrants use uh, as an entry point into South Africa both uh, legally and illegally so we decided that we have to th take you through the whole process including uh, the interviews that were carried out with the two presidents uh, we hope that you're going to enjoy this for those that haven't yet had a time or had a chance to watch it please go through this don't forget to subscribe to this channel like this video and share it thank you Thank you, Program Director, Minister of Home Affairs, Dr. Aaron Mutualedi, Ministers here present today, Deputy Ministers, Acting Premier of our province here in Limpopo, the Mayor of Mosina and also the District Mayor of Vembe, the Commissioner of the Border Management Authority, Dr. Masia Pato, and Deputy Commissioners traditional leaders who are here present with us, members of parliament, including the chair of the Portfolio Committee of Home Affairs, officials, guests, members of the media, and ladies and gentlemen. It is a real pleasure to be here in the northern part of our country to officiate on a most important launching of an important organ of our state. We are gathering here today to witness the fulfillment of a commitment that we made some time ago that we will take steps to enhance the safety and the protection of the people of our country by establishing a single, integrated, and efficient authority to manage and to secure the borders of the Republic of South Africa. As South Africans, we seek to live in peace and harmony with each other as well as with our neighbors. Earlier today, this morning as I arrived, I paid a visit to the Bide Bridge area and met President Mnangagwa and through that brief meeting, we confirmed indeed that 
Both of us as countries want to live in harmony with each other. And we confirmed that we seek a better life for all our people free from fear and want. When our country's ports of entry and borders are well protected and well managed, we are able to prevent the illegal importation and exit of goods into and from our country. We are able to facilitate lawful trade at a greater scale and much more importantly in an efficient manner. This is becoming increasingly important as we work with other countries in our region and elsewhere on the continent to increase intra-African trade, particularly as we begin to harness the benefits of the African continental free trade area. A more secure border is important for curbing illegal migration, the movement of people between countries on an illegal basis. It is important to curb human smuggling and trafficking. The Border Management Authority will help in combating cross-border crime as well. And that is why it becomes an important arm of our security apparatus. The constitution of our country declares that South Africa belongs to all who live in it. All citizens have the right to enter, to remain in, and to reside anywhere in the Republic, as is the case in every sovereign country. Foreign nationals who seek refuge or wish to live and work in South Africa are subject to immigration laws and regulations. The Border Management Authority is tasked to ensure that the country's immigration laws and regulations are upheld and that they are enforced. The BMA was established in response to a number of serious challenges. One of these challenges is the increase in the number of undocumented foreign nationals entering our country. This has exacerbated many of our country's social and economic problems. The movement of persons and goods at ports of entry has often not been as efficient as it should be. It has not often been as well as the people of, of South Africa expect it to be. And this has resulted in unnecessary delays and increased costs for individuals and those who trade, this in turn harms our economy. Deficiencies in border management have also enabled corruption and organized and cross-border crime to thrive and to grow and to increase. We have faced a problem of fragmentation of powers, responsibility, and accountability. Since 1994, the country's border management 
has been exercised by different government departments and state agencies. Often they implement their own respective mandates in isolation, without proper coordination, without proper working together. Lack of that coordination as well as inadequate information sharing between various management and enforcement authorities have rendered our borders vulnerable. Because in the course of time, we have had the immigration authorities, as in home affairs, working in isolation from the Customs and Duties Authority, the police, South African police working separately, and the Defense Force working separately. Now, the Border Management Authority will provide a suitable solution to the structural challenges of border security, control, and coordination. The Border Management Authority will be a new model of integration of functions, of integration of roles and responsibilities in the broader law enforcement environment to make sure that the movement of people and goods is properly managed, properly overseen, and properly regulated. The BMA is expected to tackle the challenges of congestion Delays that often happen at our borders, long queues, long transit times, lack of predictability, and high logistics costs. I commend the Border Management Authority for the speed with, with which it has already commenced its work. And I commend in this regard Minister Aaron Mutualeri, his Deputy Minister, and all other cabinet colleagues for the work that they have done through the interministerial committee to make sure that we get to this point. This border management agency will form part of integrating border management activities in the SADC region as well, as we implement the African continental free trade area, we will be able to work towards eradicating various forms of red tape that are hindering free trade, as well as investment and the movement of people. The BMA will be redeveloping six ports of entry as one-stop border posts. This approach will improve prove efficiency at land border crossings by combining the stops required for processing exit and entry formalities. In July, we saw the deployment of the first officers of the Border Guard of the Border Management Authority at vulnerable segments of the borderline, including the informal community crossing points. While the Border Guard will be conducting border law enforcement functions, including access control, 
the South African National Defense Force remains responsible for border protection and safeguarding. They remain responsible for securing the safety of the people of South Africa. The border guard will interface with the police through the nearest police station with regards to the occurrence of a crime at any port of entry. The BMA is now, as you heard from Minister Mutualedi, the third armed service in South Africa after the South African National Defense Force and the South African Police Service. It is mandated to perform border management functions within ports of entry as well as the law enforcement area. So we are establishing and launching today this BMA through an incremental approach. Steps have already been taken to integrate under the Border Management Authority various relevant functions of the Departments of Home Affairs, Agriculture, Health, and Fisheries, and Forestry, and the Environment, to enable its work, the BMA has signed implementation protocols, that is agreements, with the South African Revenue Service, that is SARS, the Police Service, and the Defense Force. I do therefore congratulate the Border Management Authority Commissioner and his two deputies who have received their ranks today and as you saw are even handed over a sword to the commissioner. As I stood in front of him and he took out that sword, I hesitated for a moment, <laughs> wondering what he's going to do. But that is a sword of authority to enable them to execute their work. We wish them well, and I'd like all of you who are going to work with them to support them. They have my full support as the Commander-in-Chief, and they have the full support of the Minister as well. Ensuring our borders are well managed and well protected is key to the security and development of our country. In undertaking this task, I'd like them to ensure that they have the support and the trust also of the people of South Africa, who will also be moving through our borders we want you to give them the support and the respect because they are executing their duties, their responsibilities and authority on behalf of the people of South Africa. Let us now move forward with operationalizing this authority in pursuit of a safer, more prosperous South Africa. I thank you all who are here, who are standing at attention as the members of the BMA braving the heat of Musina, which is almost 40 degrees. I can now see that you are really men and women who are made of sterner stuff. And I congratulate you. Thank you very much.
pleasure for me to receive President Mnangagwa on the South African side. And in a few minutes, he will receive me on the Zimbabwean side. So we are here on an inspection, border inspection, to come and see how our two borders are functioning because there are so many people, visitors from both countries, who cross the border. I'm told sometimes it's up to 18, 20,000 people a day. And so we want to ensure that our two border processes function well as to enhance ease of movement of our people and ease of movement of goods so that trade between the two countries can be improved. So this is an inspection visit by both of us. And we're very pleased to see you all in this baking hot sun of Musina here in Limpopo and also on the Zimbabwe side. Thank you. Me and my dear brother, President um, Ramaphosa, met in New York and there were some family chat. In that chat, my dear brother told me he was coming to this place on the 5th of um, October. Uh, October. And I was going to inspect this side of the border. Then I said, uh, I think it's an opportunity for us to meet. Because the only be a river between him and me. Why don't I also come on the same day, come to your side, look at your side, and then we go across and you can look at my side. If the two of us continuously meet in the chat, why should not our people at the border have the same relationship? What we can see here and what you are going to see on the Zimbabwe side, we want these two units or entities to talk to each other as good as the two presidents talk to each other. That's why I am here.